The way forward is through low carbon. Uh, that is the way the market's moving. We believe it's vitally important for colleges to be at the forefront of technology. The students, in coming here to learn about these technologies, can actually see it. It's, it's right in front of them. I think we've got something to be proud of here as, as a college. Welsh Assembly Government funded 70% of the construction cost and one of the conditions of contract was to achieve BREAM excellence at a uh, design stage. Uh, so we followed the whole design ethos of BREAM through the whole stages of construction. Pembrokeshire College is in Haverford West, Wales and is attended by approximately 9,000 students. They had already implemented a number of energy saving measures across the college but the building of a new construction technology training centre gave them an opportunity to go a step further. The site was already assigned, so the building was limited in size and orientation. We said to Steve, in the first instance, make sure your building is um, well insulated, and then that will mean that your energy load is low, and then look at the technologies. Because of the budget available, biomass was chosen. It's a very cost-effective solution. The solar panels were employed because they are a no-brainer. They work, they function, they're proven technology. They've been around for many years and they would reduce the hot water load for the building. There's a number of key things that we needed to, uh, to consider to achieve a low-carbon building. Things like um, consideration of daylighting and natural ventilation. The teaching spaces are naturally ventilated. The workshop spaces are mechanically ventilated, partly to do with the fact that they're deep plan and the amount of dust that's generated within those spaces. We obtained BREAM excellence at post-completion assessment stage as well, and we were the first college of further education in the UK to achieve that at both levels. It actually achieved BREAM excellent and at a higher post rating than it did pre-assessment. We achieved a lot of the points through waste management, uh, recycling, keeping a track on our vehicles, the emissions caused by the vehicles and keeping a record of water usage, electrical usage throughout the scheme. Sustainability is inherent in the college and an important part of the classroom ethic. Our usage of material is very, very little because we actually recycle everything. Material is crushed back down to its raw state of sand and lime. And it's just, there's just water added to it. It's just reused, reused, and continually reused. With them leaving us and going on to site, it's very, very important in the way they manage their waste on site. Steve and his team have really taken on board the simple idea of proactive housekeeping to curb costs. They invested in a building management system which allowed them to monitor energy consumption and, more importantly, control it. The building was divided into five zones so they could easily see where and when the energy was being used. From this sort of uh, display, we can see the temperature within each room. So here we have the office set at 20 degrees and we have the flow temperature at 54 degrees. This indicates uh, the time scheduling we can do in each zone through to a Monday to Sunday. So you can see the temperature that we've had here is setting the heating to come on into the zone from 7 o'clock in the morning through until 5 o'clock in the evening. Steve looked at the operation of the building and identified inefficient energy usage in the mornings when the cleaners came in and in the evenings when night classes began. By combining these activities, the opening hours of the college were reduced and resulted in savings in electricity and gas of about £1,000 per month. The consultants the Carbon Trust employed were really helpful. We're now one of the lowest energy users in the further education sector in the UK, both in gas and electricity. Since introducing the building management system uh, five to six years ago, uh, we've cut our gas consumption by 54% and we've cut our electricity consumption by 20%. As built, the building's carbon emissions are predicted to be 35% better than the standard required by current building regulations.
The way forward in the industry is low carbon buildings and as a company we strive to be at the forefront of that moving forward. We're developing a number of schemes at the moment. Uh, one of the projects is called Turning the Gas Off in Pembrokeshire and that involves installing a site-wide biomass boiler at the main campus. We'd also be installing solar thermal panels onto the roof and two wind turbines on the site which would provide support for the main college. The things that we've learned here has allowed us to actually improve on the levels of sustainability on a whole range of other projects that we're doing. I think it's rightly important for colleges to be at the forefront of technology because we're teaching their students at all levels and it's important to show what can be achieved within the learning environment so students can take that out into the real life working industry.